if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the next one. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Well, welcome back to the beach. I'm down at the beach. Uh, it's a lovely warm summer's evening here in the UK. Actually, it's night freezing. And uh, as normal, every time I come out to the beach, it always seems to be cold. I just can't wait for the summer to come. This is meant to be spring at the moment, but it's still um, anyway, I'm not to complain because I've bought out my Zeiss uh, Icon Netar that I showed you a video on a little while ago and also my wife's chopping board. Now she's probably at the moment looking for where it is, she's probably looking everywhere but I've stolen it and I've drilled a hole in the bottom of it and I've put a little tripod mount and the idea of this, um, the beach photography side of things, is to strap the uh, Zeiss Icon on top of this and this will lay nice and flat on the sand so I can get some decent kind of semi-long exposure shots. I'm not going to do too much on the video, I'm just going to take a load of shots, just show you some of the scenes that I'm doing uh, through the video camera. Not too much because it is bloody freezing again and um, I don't want to, as a dog, hello mate, I don't really want to be um, out here too long tonight otherwise I'm going to come down with another cold. Catch you in a bit. I've been playing around in a dark room with some signature kind of borders and while I was doing it I thought it'd be handy to just do a quick video on it and show you guys um, what I do and, and uh, how I do it and if it helps anybody with their own prints to kind of put in their own little stamp mark on them then um, great it's, it's, it's not a wasted video so I'll get straight into it so what you want to do is uh, establish what size print you want to make now mine's 10 inch by 10 inch so I've just cut a piece of mat board which is 12 inches by 12 inches so then when I cut my inside inside is going to be 10 by 10 it gives me an inch around the edge and uh, you'll end up something like this but while you're doing it you want to just create your own little signature inserts like this so as you're cutting your measurement inside just leave yourself a little tiny bit here or here or wherever or however many you want to make and then you'll end up with these little tiny um, pieces of card sticking out the edge and with those you can create whatever shapes you want a square or a triangle and it all seems a little bit childish and, and <laughs> blue peterish i suppose if you don't know what blue peter is it's um, an old children's program in the uk they used to do a lot of crafts and stuff but it actually is quite effective on your prints. So um, anyway, getting on with the show. So yeah, once you've got your insert, uh, once you've got your, your outside edge like this, you're then left with your insert. And then what you want to do with your insert is just trim a couple of millimeters, uh, millimeters all the way along here, the edges, so that it fits with a slight gap, like so. And then that's going to be the area we flash light and make a black border. And obviously this part here, let's pull it around, that's going to be your little signature. So now I've cut my mat board. Um, I've just placed it underneath the enlarger. I've turned the enlarger on. It uh, fits the image perfectly. So this is a 10 by uh, 10 inch by 10 inch uh, print that we're making. And then I need to make sure this is secured down. So I'll just use some masking tape here and then just tape it down so it doesn't move whilst I'm projecting my image onto the paper like so and that creates me a nice little hinged window if you like so I can just keep make, making prints and that's not going to move um, and then the only trouble is you'll start getting um, light seeping underneath the edges so what I use to clamp them down I found these in a the DIY store these uh, angle um, whatever they're called I don't know metal things but they're nice and heavy and uh, they just go on the one on each corner just to hold the corners down because you don't like seeping underneath here no, over there so that's just going to hold my corners down and I've got a couple more just to put just to be on the safe side. The last thing you want to do if you make a nice print is get light leaks going underneath. It doesn't matter too much if you do. It's uh, you know it's all handmade process, so things like that don't really bother me. But anyway, so that's that part done. So then you'll project your 
image onto the paper and then once you've finished projecting that you'll then want to be ready to make your uh, signature mark or your border this is the aperture that we cut so I just need to match the two grooves together there and this is done in the dark so it can be a bit tricky but uh, you know it's um, it finishes my prints off nicely and again this is going to lift so you'll need to weight this area down you might find other things to weight it down with but this is what I use and what I'm used to using so so then once you've done that you just take the negative out of the carrier and then you'll hit white light from the projector uh, from the enlarger and um, it will hit it will give you a nice uh, square black border around your print or rectangle or whatever size print you're doing and this is our little mark here that's going to just give our print a little bit of authenticity if you like to your work now you can create these as uh, crazy as you like but this simple one is just to give you an idea so i'm just going to make a print and then i'll show you what it looks like hopefully uh, you can see this without too many of my shadows but um, i'm just going to put a piece of 16 by 12 in this um, template uh, which is big enough for my 10 by 10 print i've already set the enlarger up i've already focused i'm not going to bother cutting the ends i could cut the ends off and use it as test strips but I'm not going to bother, I'll just cut it afterwards. Okay, so now the paper's in there, just going to now put the weights on the edge of the template. And I'm ready to make my print. This is a split grade uh, print that I'm going to be doing with a little bit of burning. Burning in, it's a seascape. And off we go. Just going to use this card, just going to waft, make sure there's no hairs that fall on it. If they do, they'll be blown away as I'm projecting. A little waft here and there. First bit done, just change the contrast filter over. This time just need to start burning in the sky a little bit. Okay, that bit's done. This is the card I'm going to be using. This is our insert now push this in and this is where we make our border and our custom signature a bit trickier to see with the red light on than it was with the uh, darkroom lights on but it hasn't got to be perfect if you can make it perfect good if not I wouldn't spend too much time over it because you know the way I see it is this is all handmade stuff and everything you do is kind of individual I'll make another print of this it will be different than this one that's why I like darkroom work just my darkroom padlock on it okay hopefully you can see this and um, now I'm going to take the negative out project the white light onto it and it'll create our border and our little signature one two three four five that'll do Moment of truth. Here goes a paper. Get a developer all around it. And this is all fresh developer, so it should come through pretty quick. You can see that coming through there. And, uh, Okay, time to stop, fix, and then we'll have a look. So it was a shame that I couldn't finish off the video I was trying to make yesterday. Um, it got just got so cold that I put the video camera back in the bag and went off down the beach and burst off the rest of the roll of 120 film and came back to down the dark room and started doing some prints. And then when I was doing those prints, I started making the borders on my prints. And I thought it might be a good video to make to show people how I make borders and also adding a little personal touch such as what we've been talking about. This was the print that I did in the dark room and this one behind me is already framed now. This was Culver Cliff, the one I quite liked and you can see I've actually included the same um, ident on that as well. So yeah, if it gives you guys any um, interest in making your own borders then this is how I do it. So uh, thanks for watching, uh, please subscribe, like the video and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>